Hey, good people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. It's 6 uh, 15 here. Uh, winter is starting uh, really quite nicely. Uh, kind of cool morning, uh, not very cold, not very foggy. Early days of winter in Bangladesh it stays a little bit cold. Uh, I mean, like mild cold then it goes a little bit more fog as the months progress so somewhere by december and january we get really nice sort of cool weather but not like snowing or minus something degrees all right so wishing you very good morning uh, first of all um, wishing you good morning with my tea i always enjoy this in the early morning to get the voice going and my uh, <clears throat> scent of the morning i woke up in very very weird time i woke up around 5 a.m uh, because you know nowadays you know cold weather makes you feel lazy it will sometimes be fluish you know so you sl foolish no flu ish so scent of the morning is kenzo jungle elephant version this is the women's version but uh, this fragrance is very unisex to my nose I've got this lot of spices uh, cloves vanilla i believe and then sandalwood and a lot of notes but very oriental spicy fragrance i really like this very nice little bottle as well a lot of carved glass here okay so that's that so i plan to do three videos for you one is going to be a comparison video one's going to be a full-on review of a fragrance and this particular episode i'll start with a morning thoughts you know i have few things to say uh, maybe a little bit serious uh, if it's not really fragrance related if you want to skip the video you can absolutely do so no problem so first of all hope you're doing good and you are doing okay uh, in your life and everything's going good uh, during the COVID situation right now we are a bit scared in Bangladesh that when Europe is facing the second or third you know like uh, uh, what you call the phase rather of COVID-19 uh, so Bangladesh will also perhaps see because we do not know so far we have been a little bit more fortunate than many other countries like our uh, infections were like uh, like the numbers were not as severe as many other countries but maybe perhaps we were just lucky or it was a high heat something you know we don't know but our measures like we don't have very strong defense system here right so we don't know what's what to come but we pray that winter time we stay safe and uh, the numbers don't spike up okay so that i have three things to discuss today a bit serious and i know like these are things that perhaps will make me look bad <laughs> in certain uh, light or I, it will make me look rude but uh, i want to share a few things so first of all uh, fragrance game you know when i started let me start here when i started a fragrance game i actually did not ever consider people i never judge people by their religion race or uh, where they come from caste you know as long as they're respectful as long as they are nice to me and in general they are nice people i like to associate with them i never kiss ass <laughs> uh, like like I would not appreciate a person if I don't feel like they're nice okay or I would not praise a person if I don't think they're praiseworthy okay so yeah my early days I am very grateful to many of the people and the reason for me to be here you know like fragrance community like as a reviewer uh, touching something like 50,000 subscriber plus doing this many videos and everything I owe it largely to many of my friends in fragrance community who are not from you know many of them are not from bangladesh okay uh, many of them are not from uh, even this region okay uh, big thanks would be like the main guy for me is chad okay he is the one who put me in the limelight i always say that uh, just like mark is my fragrance guru my uh, motivation uh, to do this work i learned from him i'm inspired by him but chad is the person who actually took me and put him in his, put me in his collab work like somewhere in 2016 okay so basically i'm sorry i'm gonna be sleeping on the tea for a while because <laughs> early morning you feel a little bit uneasy in the, in the throat so yeah i'm trying to say something like there has been recently an issue about the french you know like i don't like to talk politics that much but you know like we are free to speak you know if you feel like this is not your fault you can avoid but uh, there has been like a lot of uh, protests and there's a lot of uh, wrong thing wrong go, wrongdoing going on okay i said about this in one of the videos b before uh there has been like you know that shirley hebdo's incident before that there was a tragedy and they continue to do so uh, put mockery and insult on not just our religion black people uh, india but i mean like any religion any race they like to mock and they think it's funny 
it's cool and just because i don't speak up it doesn't mean that i support them or anything okay my stance was this that if you feel differently from me let's say i am not a super uh, religious guy neither am i a super uh, uh, what is the word uh, atheist okay i am not i am trying to be always moderate i'm trying to see as i told you people who are good i don't see religion i don't see people who are uh, not the same skin color as mine okay i don't judge people by that i judge that if you respect me if you're a nice guy and if you are open minded these things okay but uh, i see at times people have different political views religious views some of you do not believe in god it does not matter to me okay your faith is with you but you know it it's it's sad you know like when some people think or some countries certain people think that you know uh, it's cool to hurt someone's uh, feelings like let's say our religion like muslims on most part who pray and they are very serious to them uh, the godliness you know like uh, our prophet also the kaaba saudi you know this thing the holy book uh, these are important you know these are the places these are like a uh, different countries have taboos you know like taboos as in like you go there they have certain cultures like if you go to malaysia one of the rules they teach in malaysia uh, don't uh, extend your arm or hand to shake a woman woman san uh, if she is not offering a handshake okay so this is their culture it's not nothing to do with perhaps islamic culture there's no such thing as uh, generally accepted rules and regulations every country has their flaws every country has their uh, strong points and their law and people will have certain feelings like malaysia they have three four races living peacefully together they're fine you know there's chinese who are non muslim they eat pork they have the chinese new year so i'm trying to go a little bit deep to make you understand why it's important to respect each other okay and i'm not going to demand like hey you respect me otherwise i'm going to like you know uh, be very violent towards you that's the other side which is also wrong the way the killings or murders have happened our religion do not support this some people who are misunderstanding or misleading the youth or the new people who are just you know getting into the you know like that religious side sometimes they are misled you know some people they brainwash them you know you would question how come our time we are not brainwashed yeah we are not brainwashed because we used to read we used to check double check cross reference and everything we used to uh, like see what's happening in the world we used to watch fifa world cup we used to write we used to have pen friends you know so i think the whole world kind of changed when the 911 attack happened and that is one thing that changed the world forever you know that since then uh, there has been like so much uh, racial hatred see the thing is when someone do someone does wrong thing you always have to be in your place of diplomacy or doing the right thing because at this current moment you have to be diplomatically correct i have been blocked by facebook many times when i wrote say uh, i'm angry you know like how muslims are being killed in myanmar i write something uh, angry then they find it it's not you know like uh, what you call like appropriate okay and they feel like i'm being racist or against you know like myanmar government or people so they block me for 3 days 10 days you know then i realize like, i get angry but the thing is i understand slowly when you want to express there has to be right ways i cannot be extreme of any nature okay say if i as a muslim you know i don't uh think i should go out there you know try to poke fun like hey christian say hindus and everything i pick on people and then i say something funny about your religion or your culture or let's say something that is personal to you and i find it's funny you know poking you or hurting you i don't think it's cool okay honestly speaking and if you are in support of those silently you can do so uh, recently there has been a case i received messages from couple of my brothers they said a particular youtube reviewer he invited a guest who's owner of certain house and he's having a background he's having our prophets mockery that cartoon just to show solidarity with the french you know charlie hebdo incident and he supports the cause you have to understand what you're supporting you know i never would support uh, mocking or hurting someone you know like as an atheist you feel like why would someone get hurt and we should grow up and everything i understand you know because everybody's viewpoint is different everybody grew up differently but in the end you have to understand one thing the law is there okay the people who murdered those uh, charlie hebdo teachers you know there was law if the law doesn't take care of them that is their system law okay but you cannot take the law in your own hand and uh, hurt others and 
uh, silence them with your sword when they're writing something in their pen. You have to be educated enough, strong enough that you can defend or you can protest uh, maintaining within the law. Okay, if you're in a foreign land, they have their law. You live there means you have to abide by their law. This is the reality. If you're an immigrant, if you're in different countries, if you go to, as I told you, if you go to Ireland, you know, they are drinking there. It's like a, their culture, you know. And if you go out there in the pub and you just take your holy book and you tell them you shouldn't drink, it's haram. Do you think you are you are doing something sensible? No, you are going to the country against their culture. Uh, you can show peacefully, but you have to respect other people's sentiments. So this is what I'm trying to say. You have to be very, very thoughtful. You have to think a lot. Okay. So the recent incident of these YouTubers or reviewers, I heard from my brothers and they asked me uh, if I want to be associated with them. So here's my uh, thought, okay, like about this issue. Uh, I condemn what happened in France, okay? Uh, but it does not mean that when you ask for boycotting French products, it's kind of silly, okay? Why? Because not whole of France is in support of Charlie Hebdo or hanging those just because the president, he has lost his mind and he's supporting this. Uh, it does not mean all the French feel the same way. Not everybody wants to fight many people in uh, Muslim world they think like you know all of Israel is evil. No, there are a lot of people in Israel who are in support of Palestinians They protest against brutality of you know of Palestinians But sometimes the governments in power they're very very strong and they're very very violent. So people are scared Okay, so I don't believe every country is free from guilt or innocent uh, Not all the religions all the people are the same all of them are good all of them bad just like your country our country have our flaws. Our people, if we say our Muslim countries are full of corruptions, this is the reality. And if you are the Muslim, if you do not uh, agree to that, we waste a lot of money. We uh, lie, we cheat, we have a lot of flaws. We have no unity. Yeah, the Middle Eastern countries, they have no unity. They fight amongst each other. There was a fight of Iran, and, you know, like, uh, sorry, Iraq and I think what country was it? Qatar? Forgot about it. You know, so, so many countries, they attack each other. So they are flawed in their own ways. And they have system problems so just like you know foreign countries so thing is like my final verdict on this is that if you feel certain way uh, that is different than my religious beliefs i'm okay with it even if you hate uh, what i fa feel but if you don't say it to my face or out here in uh, my group uh, i don't think uh, perhaps i'll be hurt if i see something wrong that or or say i see that you are associated with people who hate us okay uh, i will be hurt but I will not actually go out there and attack you personally. This is the, this is my belief, okay? Because if someone uh, burn my, as I told you before, my holy book, it does not burn my religion because my faith is deep down here, okay? If I fear God uh, after life, it's within me, okay? If I feel if I do a bad thing, karma will come and bite me. It's within me. You cannot take that away from me, okay? Let's say you listen to music. Uh, no one can take out the music just like that movie, Shawshank Redemption. It's here, it's here. Right. So just like that, you know, you have to really constantly think this is how religion should work. This is how people's mindset should work. People shouldn't be sheep. OK, they shouldn't be filled with uh, someone else's ideas in their head. So uh, in my group, I try to keep it fragrance related because many of the fragrance brands, they're from France. But uh, if you burn, let's say, or you, I saw someone breaking the watch. OK, because it was French made. You paid for the watch and you broke it, you know, like uh, a protest perhaps it can mean that do not further buy their products that's up to you i also have full respect but if you own something okay let's say chanel uh, for five years now you break it it's your loss you own that product okay this is what our religion says see and see the videos and uh, like references that you don't have to destroy that because you paid for it you own it now it does not belong to them right so you have to constantly think you, you don't let people you know uh, make you uh, influenced and uh, I think as long as people are maintaining the diplomacy and then it's all always about business as well. You have to see, let's say my line of work is uh, fragrances. If I now uh, go against uh, everybody, I will uh, lose this line of work and nobody's going to come and pay. So thing is like, yeah, we have to chill at the same time. We also have to have respect. And perhaps uh, the whole purpose of saying many of these things are, uh, I think we uh, need to realize uh, this is the year 2020. We can have different religious views, political views, you have to be tolerant. We cannot uh, tend to violence to respond to something people are writing. Let's say people call your uh, uh, something like, you know, like uh, your your name, like you say your name is Mohammed and they make fun of it, that they, they call you a rapist or something like that. You cannot go out there and then 
hurt them with a weapon. You have to go to the court. You have to go to the system. If it allows you justice, you should go there and then file a complaint against them because they are pers perhaps bullying you or hurting you or trying to damage your uh, mental state. So there is law. So if there is no law, that's a different thing. But do not ever, uh, I do not believe in violence and I do not believe uh, in hurting someone else's uh, faith or sentiments to make money or be cool or to be popular. Hopefully I got that correct. Uh, I wanted to not make this so long, but I wanted to say what's in my heart. So perhaps this video is going to run a little bit long. I want to do a long video today. Second thing I want to talk about is politics, you know. Nowadays, it's very, very hot, you know, and we get heated up, you know, even in sports. One of my friends said, we love to divide ourselves, political, sports, uh, music, we have a religious faith, whatever. There are a lot of ways you can find to differentiate ourselves. You're white, I'm black, I am uh, brown, you are this, you are Hindu, I'm Muslim. We, are, we can divide, it's very easy to divide and destroy, okay? But it's important to understand, as I was talking about the respect, you know, like uh, I recently like deleted some people on Facebook. Uh, there is a reason for it. There is a time I used to be very much into discussion, I would argue, but I don't have the time anymore. When I see people are simply just uh, name calling, let's say, for example, I do this fragrance reviews and many random people add me. I do not add everybody back. Let's say I had chat with you, a conversation, or you look like a nice guy, you have some common friends, then I add you. But then I never go to your profile, let's say because I'm not your friend, but we just Facebook friends, right? So that doesn't mean we're real friends. But I see, you know, like Trump versus Biden, you know, some of you like Trump, some of us, we don't like Trump because we have reasons, you know, like he's not the nicest or kindest guy uh, to immigrants, okay, to per se. So our Bangladeshi community, our Southeastern community, uh, many of us don't like Trump, okay? That's just clear. We can say it out there, isn't it? There's nothing wrong with it, but I'm not part of states. But when I write something, that's my viewpoint. It can be flawed, just like my religious talk. It can be... Uh, perhaps looking a little bit one-sided but that's what it is you know it's my facebook profile i'm not putting that on my fragrance group right so when you write something uh, mocking other people and then ridiculous claims you know like i find it funny but i don't attack people because i understand that the grown-up thing to be is uh, let it be you know like even if i say something wrong because i'm not opening with uh, my status like open floor for discussion or i asked you i just express my opinion that's it it can be wrong you can just walk by if you don't like but certainly some people just feel like you know they have to use strong terms and they act, have to act like wise ass okay and uh, these are the people who added me i never added them so i never asked them to be my friend you understand what i'm saying i did not invite you to come and insult me or hurt me or fight with me on my profile if you don't like if you don't like what you see you have the freedom freedom of expression is delete them block them right you block me no problem but uh, if that's uh, that's one thing that make you realize, let's say, a celebrity you like, let's say you like, uh, for example, who? Mm, Beyonce, okay, very popular singer, okay? And you think like, you know, or Jennifer Lopez, Jello. But suddenly you see that, you know, you love her so much, but she, suddenly you see one day, like she doesn't support your political idol. And you're like, what a bitch, you know, like, like, what a, uh. so, uh, it shows not their flaw, it shows your problem, right? So people can have different faith right uh, and you have to be understanding like you know this is their viewpoint it does not mean they are saying this about you they're not attacking you they're talking in general right so these are the things you know like I personally feel like Facebook should be preserved for people only you know very close friends your relatives uh, people you know in real time and people who respect them uh, like you and uh, they have the mutual respect okay so that's why I'm deleting and sometimes people just some people just plain annoying okay you just I don't have the time to deal with them for number of years yes perhaps they're my friend group members but they never post anything and whenever you post something they always write something opposite it, it's annoying you know like some wise asses you know like nah don't have the time for it you know just screw <laughs> so yeah it, it sucks but you know you have to understand you know like you do not judge me when i don't judge you you know so personally picking up fights this is a sign of you know uh, not really uh, wise uh, or grown up mentality all right perhaps i'm not the most grown up you know i write whatever shit i want you know on my facebook on my games i keep writing status maybe i'm a little bit crazy people know i have anger management issues but you know that's me but i do not invite people to be part of that maybe perhaps i don't have any friends that's okay no problem but yeah i i said sorry to one of the brothers though 
because he felt I used certain term and it is disrespectful, disrespectful, but someone else came and I didn't ask him, you know. So anyway, so that's the second thing. And third thing is uh, fragrances. Let me uh, do a little bit of fragrance talk. Uh, recent days, there's a lot, lot of division and fight against about fragrance in different groups. Uh, sometimes uh, some, you know, there are two sides, you know, some people are bashing people who use cheaper fragrances, designers, some other groups, they bash people who are using niche, high end, uh, the ones they are criticizing the designer people or cheaper clones, they are like, hey, you cheap, you cannot afford good fragrances. I saw today uh, something like comment, people write something stupid, he said, you use some expensive fragrance, but you look like bad, you know, someone wrote it on someone, on the reviewers, Instagram. So these are things that you know you just ignore. But the other side is also other extremes like, hey, just because you have this, you just all you buy is niche, you know. So the thing is, we have to understand this game is about happiness. This game is supposed to bring us uh, joy, you know, and uh, like somewhere we can relax. So if you get so serious about it, there is like, we're going to get nothing out of it, right? We fight with people. And yeah, at, at times I'm at fault, you know, sometimes I criticize people, but I do not take it to the level that you know I start a serious fight with them. You know, you you like what you like. You like wearing body spray X. I respect you. You like wearing Roja Dove. I respect you. You like wearing designers. No judging because I am a guy who I I have certain viewpoint. Uh, I like my designer reviews because let's face it, if we didn't review designers, okay, uh, I don't think any of our channels, any of the reviewers' channels, would grow more than five thousand, or they wouldn't get view more than a couple of hundreds. Because most of the niche and indie fragrance problem is one thing they're expensive, they are second thing is they're rare, they are not accessible everywhere, and they are not really mass uh, crowd pleasers. So these are the main reasons. Uh, most of the world, I would say, 80-85% is world dominated by designer fragrances. This is fact. Okay, the top sellers are designer Prada, Lom, Versace, Dylan Blue, Lanu de Lom. You can name 10 or 20 fragrances just like that. But niche fragrances, if you say, even if you put Aventus. People who love it, but many of the people cannot afford it. You see, that's the problem. But I'm not saying majority rules. Uh, definitely respect to people who have good taste. But I actually sort of respect people who understand niche and they are in the game. They collect understanding notes. They uh, use fragrances knowing what they're using rather than just rocking a brand. I find that very hollow of people. I have money, you know, like, and then just I'm wearing money, you know. It's it's kind of like a pointless if you don't understand what you're wearing, right? So uh, we have to understand where it came from. Today I wrote someone, one of my brothers, Pinoy Q, he sent, uh, shout out to your brother. He wrote a status, like someone called him a seller, whatever, sell out, whatever. But at a certain point, we have to understand like when you're back in school, our time we're not the most blessed. We are using body sprays. So full respect to people who are wearing still X. I'm not going to bash them because uh, I do not uh, bash my roots or my past because I'm very proud of where I came from. Uh, we're middle-class families, we used to play sports. We, are, we had a happy life, okay? So if we pretend like we were always a prince, we're born with golden spoon in our mouth, it's gonna be wrong, okay? But at the same time, if we bash people for having money or their rich, this is also wrong. Let's say they have great collection and we just look at the collection, we hate automatically oh, show off, you know? Uh, that's gonna be wrong, okay? So we have to understand the right balance in between, you know, enjoy the game, give freedom, and let people enjoy good things in life uh, also whatever your choice is because some of them are gonna be apples some of them are gonna be oranges some of them are gonna be watermelons right uh, not really like <laughs> really really but just an example some people like blue some people like green uh, some people like Toyota some people like Benz see so it's always nice to see variations so if you learn to appreciate that's when you can connect and you can respect each other on that podium right so i think that's about it so these are the things i wanted to talk in morning session i hope it was not too serious but i want to just let you know my stance and for all my brothers i like to stay united i like to spread love not negativity not fight on most part but uh, unless i am provoked or attacked personally i do not think i'll attack back someone right so uh, please stay united think a little bit more before ink inking and uh, if you have a viewpoint that's great but do not attack someone else's viewpoint going on their profiles, uh, bashing them for believing in something, right? So that's not cool for me. So everybody have a nice day. I think I'll go to the reviews right now. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.